I am so excited to be sitting down and filming a video. It, I feel like it's been so long. It's been like four days. I never go four days without filming. Filmed, edited, uploaded my dotting tutorial and the audio was jacked up again. Did it three times. I was up till like four in the morning. I think it was Monday night. And I just got so frustrated that I was like, you know what? I need a few days off. I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's iMovie or YouTube that's messing up my videos, but it drives me crazy because I spend a lot of time editing and then I have to like re-edit the whole, oh, it's just a mess and it ticks me off, but I'm here. Hopefully this video will not have any kung fu. Did you guys ever see those old kung fu movies where you're talking, but the audio is like, they're like, I'm going to get you one. That's what it looks like, and it ugh, drives me crazy. Anyway, I'm filming a get ready with me today. I have to go pick Hunter up from school. He's coming home for the weekend, and I'm so excited. I have not seen my child in a month. That, it, oh my God, that just hurts my body so bad. So I'm so excited to see him, but I don't need to do anything fancy. We're just going to do a very simple makeup. But I was just getting ready to film, and this box came in the mail from ColourPop. So thank you so much, ColourPop. They're awesome. If you guys have never ordered from ColourPop, I love them. They sent me some of their new lippy pencils and lippy sticks. I have not even opened them yet, so we'll play with them when it's time to do lips. Let me get this box out of the way. Oh, and that confetti just went all over my floor. Good job, Nicole. Okay, so get ready with me. That was a very long winded intro. Hmm, are you surprised? Back to professional. I'm just going to put this on in this area and then on my forehead. And I like press it in so that it kind of fills in those wrinkles and lines and pores. Oh, and my nails, you guys, this is a new color from Glisten and Glow. It's from her upcoming Cheers collection. Oh my God, they're so good. For a foundation, I'm going to use L'Oreal True Match in W6 and my Sigma <laughs> F80. I'll zoom you guys in after foundation. And like I said, I don't want anything, I've said this before, I don't want anything extreme and then I end up with a freaking smoky eye and like a bright ass lip. I'm, I'm going for something very simple. If that actually happens, that's another story. Okay, sorry, I was on with Hunter. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much good for foundation. I'm just going to do one layer, and then I do have a new concealer to try out. <laughs> so I have this LA Girl Pro Conceal in Creamy Beige. And this is so odd. When I put it on, it looks super, like, orangey colored, but then when I blend it in, it's the perfect shade. And it just has, like, a little brush tip. It's kind of thick, but I really like it. See how it looks? You're like, that is not your color. But when I blend it in, oh, that was a lot. <laughs> it is my color. And I kind of highlight with this also. Dang, I got a lot going on over here. Topaz, you bitch. Just using my F80 to blend that out. You guys keep telling me to get the F86, which I... Are you kidding me right now? The motorcycles heard that I was filming. Um, the F86, it's like a tapered. It's like this, but it's tapered. I know, I need to get it, but I like this for concealer. Look how I'm holding it. Like it's a little, like, camel on my shoulder. Are you okay? Okay, so that, like, blends out, and it just looks so good and it doesn't crease and it's super inexpensive. I have been loving this concealer. And then I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy. You guys know the drill just for these couple little hyperpigmentation spots. Uh, got brush hairs on me. And on the old stash. The stash is going away, so I can't complain. 
it's fading along with my tan and my dignity. And then, per usual, I'm going in with my NARS Loose. I can't do two things at once. My NARS Crystal Loose Light Reflecting Setting Powder. Good grief. And this is an e.l.f. brush, blush brush. Ah, uh, something's itching me. Ah, uh, my chin is itching and I can't itch it. Don't you guys hate when you just put makeup on and then you get an itch and you know that if you itch it, bad things are going to happen? Okay, let me do my brows. I'm just going to do them very very natural today because nobody needs a full brow to go pick your kid up from college. So I'm just going to brush through them and I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I can't find medium ash. I don't know what I did with it. So I'm going to use brunette, which is a little bit dark for me, but we'll make it work. I'm going to use my Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in Chocolate to keep these bad boys in place. Okay, I'm going to use my NARS Pro Prime on my eyelids. I don't think I'm doing anything extreme on these eyeballs. I don't know if I'm doing anything at all, but just in case. I don't know what I want to do on my eyes, you guys. Okay. I'm going to pull out an old dog. This is the Stila in the Light palette. I used to use this thing like it was going out of style. I have not used it in so long because I just have so much eyeshadow. So I'm going to take the shade Bliss and I'm going to run it through my crease. Oh, zoom edge. Hmm. Okay, Bliss through the crease. You better be in focus. Oh, that's more pigmented than I remember. Holy crap. Dang, blend that shiz out, girlfriend. And of course, I'm going to take Kitten, which is my favorite eyeshadow of all time. Look at that. Oh my God. It's so pretty. If you guys have not tried Steal a Kitten before, you are missing out on life, I'm telling you. I'm gonna take a Coastal Sense Brush BR250 and I'm going to take Gilded Gold right here, that guy. I'm gonna put this on the outer part of my lid. This is like my everyday eye look. If I don't know what to do, I always do like the exact same thing just with different palettes. You guys are probably tired of seeing it by now, but I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to roll up to campus with like a purple smoky eye. You know what I mean? Hunter would be like, mom, get your ass in the car. We're going home. I'm going to take some of this sandstone shade. It's just like a dark matte brown. Just a little bit just to darken things up over here. Just right into the outer edge of the crease. Like on the outer V. Just a little bit. Just like that. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do. I'm going to take... I'm going to take my NARS um, Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner in Rue Bonaparte. It's a nude color. And I'm going to put this in my waterline. And then I'm just going to take that Coastal Sense brush, no additional product, and just run it under the outer part of my lower lash line just to add like a little bit of a shadow, but I don't want it to be like, bam. And on my trusty little Eco Tools brush, I don't even know what this is called, the smudge brush, I'm going to take Kitten and put it right here. Okay, I just realized that I'm kind of filming my everyday makeup look, pretty much. So maybe that's what we'll call this video. What do you think, Topaz, you old heifer? 
Okay, so I'm going to take the black shade from my Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral 2 palette with a NARS, I don't know what this brush is, it's just an angled brush from NARS, and I'm going to very lightly just line my upper lash line, just to add a little bit of definition. Okay, I got a new eyelash curler, but dang it, it's downstairs. This Tarte one has been catching my lashes and pulling them out, and it's extremely painful, but let's try again. Okay, for mascara, will you guys be mad if I use Jordana Best Lash again? There's just nothing better. I'm sorry. I'm going to use Jordana. She just calls my name every day, and she's like, don't pick anything else because they're not as good. I have my window cracked the tiniest bit. I swear, any other time, it's super quiet. As soon as I hit record, peeps go crazy. And then what I normally do next is just bronzer. And nine times out of ten, it is Laguna. I just, I want to finish it up because I've hit severe pan. But I just love this color so much. It's like the best color for me. And I use my NARS Eda brush even on very simple days. I just don't contour as much. I kind of take it down and then I turn it sideways and I just, you know, you guys know what I mean. I just kind of blend it out more. But I still like to have a little bit of definition. I just think it makes my face look so much better. This might be hella makeup. Whoa. This might be a lot of makeup for some people, but for me, it's not. Is that bad? I don't know. Do I care? Not really. I have a new blush brush. This is the Sonia... Oh boy. Sonia Kashuk. It just says number 29. I think it's called the Domed Blush Brush. It's so soft. I really like it. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to use... I'll use this new blush. This is from Annabelle. Did you guys ever see this brand, Annabelle? Um, this was sent to me from a friend of mine. This is in the color 44. I hate when they just have numbers. But that's what it looks like. It's a really pretty, like, dusty rose. So I'm going to put a little of this on my cheeks. Um, for contour, I'm just going to take Becca Opal because this is kind of turned into... What do you do on a daily basis? So this is what I do on a daily basis. It's always Becca Opal. She's so gorgeous. <laughs> oh. I'm going to take my NARS Dual Intensity Shadow in Andromeda. And this brush from the Balm, this is the Give Crease a Chance brush. I take the fatter side of the brush and I put this under my brows. And then I take the other side and I do my inner corner. So I flip it and I take this like fluffy side and just run that in here. I love this color. I've been using it every day for highlighting my brow bone and my inner corner. It's just so pretty. Okay, so ColourPop sent me three of their lippy sticks and then three of the lippy pencils. So, what color do I want to play with? I don't know, I haven't even opened them. Okay, these are so cool. So I have three of their lip pencils, lippy pencils. They sent me LBB, a uh, button, which is this nude one right here. Sorry, my hands are full. And then grind, which is this really pretty purple. So let me show you guys the lippy sticks. So this is button. This is the one that I think I'm going to wear today. It's a really pretty, like, peachy nude. And then the other... I am stripped it. And then we have LBB and grind. So these are both, like, the purpley, deeper berry ones. And because I'm trying to keep it simple today, we're going to do 
button. That reminds me of Essie Button, who I love. Okay, so taking the lippy pencil, I guess I should zoom you guys in so you can see what's happening. So smart. Oh wow, that's pigmented! These are like super soft going on. They feel really creamy, but they're not too creamy that they're like sliding around on your lips. I really like the consistency of that. That was really nice. Okay, let's try out the lippy stick. And by the way, guys, I did not have to put these in a video. I'm just excited to play with them. Okay, that's what she looks like. She's so pretty. Oh, dang. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to have a super dark lip line. Oh, craps. Okay, we'll fix it. Oh. Not really any smell. It has kind of like a lipstick smell, but not a bad one. And these are, these are matte. I'm all about the matte. But it's like really nice and creamy going on. There's the cycles, my boys. That was totally human error. I, sh I, yeah, I didn't realize the lip liner was gonna be so much darker, but it's okay. I love the way these have like the pointed top cause you can really, cause you can really get in there and do that like Cupid's bow. Anyway, these trucks are driving me insane. Alright guys, so this is pretty much it for my everyday simple makeup look. I really, really like these lippies. I may, I only have three shades, but maybe I'll order a few more and then do a video on like the lip liner with the matching lippy stick. Yeah. Um, I hope this video wasn't boring for you guys because I feel like I just did the exact same thing that I do in every Get Ready With Me. But I just wanted to touch base with you guys and say I love you and I'm sorry that I was away for a few days. And you also got to see my everyday makeup routine. Like this is honestly every day what I do if I'm not filming and if I need to look presentable. Like if I'm leaving my house. So I hope everybody has a really good weekend. I am so excited to see my baby. Um, yeah, I love you guys. I will see you in my next video, which will be very, very soon. I'm not going to be gone for four days again, I promise. So, all right. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah. Well, that's a big fat freaking fail face.